since last time I painted the cowling, just airbrushed it black. Looks great, nice and smooth, looks like a piece of metal, which is what I preferred. So that looks good. And then these are the parts for the propeller. Um, this piece is a piece of wire super glued into a um, little piece of balsa. There's two of them, and those pieces of balsa are sort of the inner skeleton, and they've been sanded to make like an airfoil shape, so the thinner trailing edge and a rounded leading edge. Um, and that's how they're going to go together. There's the rear of the prop boss that goes in, and then there's the front. I'm going to put a little piece of plastic sprue on the front to give it a three-dimensional look soon. This is the part that rolls around that the propeller is going to stick into. And then this little piece was a tab. When you roll that brown piece around, but it was just situated right there on the end. And because I didn't want to bulge or something looking silly, I actually took an exacto and just cut that off. And so I'm going to actually glue that on and make it like a tab. And then these are the prop blades. And you can see, maybe, that they are um, rolled a little bit. And so I took the end of a uh, paintbrush as usual and rolled a little bit. Here's one that's left, the flat one. I'll show you how you do that to remind you. I just use my fingers and the correct side of the brush. And um, you just start at one end and sort of push the blade or the handle in and just roll it along your fingers until you get the desired um, concavity. Very quick, very easy, but it gives it a nice shape so it'll, things will match up. It looking like a prop blade. So there are holes, one there and one on the end. That's where the wire is going to go through. So you got to make sure you poke those through. Now here I am just putting the little tab on. Again, this isn't the way the kit is designed, but I find it looks better if, it, if you actually make a, an internal tab rather than one that just stays outside. So you just kind of very carefully put this down. Make sure it lines up, get it about halfway or so, and then you just let it dry. Then you roll this, again using your handy cylindrical implement. Roll it against your finger or a mouse pad. Add a little glue to the tab, and then roll it together with using um, little fine uh, forceps here, tweezers. And once I basically sort of get it trapped in where I want it into that spot it, the glue grabs a little bit and then I take my tweezers and I give it a little squeeze right there and then once that's lined up that dries nice now to make it kind of make sure it's round I'll stick it on my ubiquitous brush handle and find the spot where it's tight and just kind of roll it a little bit I think it just makes it look a little better I mean maybe it's not necessary but that's what I do with these pieces. Now we'll put the little hubs on. And so I started in this case with the front hub because this part has to be, has to look the best. So I pop it in and then use the end of the brush handle and just shove it down into the middle. And so you're using the backing or the as a as a place to make it stop, a little backstop. And then you put some little glue on the other piece. And the other piece you just slide into place, make sure it's uh, glued nicely. Um, you should have used something smaller to glue it in place, not the whole stupid thing of glue, but I was lazy. Um, and just take some time to make sure it's level and nice, because that's the end that's going to go onto the engine. And once that's together, you just set it aside and let it dry and start working on some other parts. Oh yeah, that's an example of making sure it's nice and flat. Use the back of an X-Acto or something. And just use the, the, the cutting board to your advantage. Make sure that you're basically pushing against and you'll end up with something nice. Now we'll start putting the prop blades onto our wooden skeleton. And so in this case, I put a little glue on the balsa wood. That was 1 32nd sheet, by the way, like usual. And very carefully put the one side of the uh, prop blade on. And I'm just, I'm just lining it up at the base. Oh, and on my finger there, there's a dough. I was also making uh, bread, by the way. Anyway, there that is. Once that's together and dry a little bit, put some glue on the edges of the paper. And then you're going to put the other side on like a clamshell. And um, take your time here, line it up. 
this kit again is very well designed in terms of everything does line up really nice and then you just sort of make sure that everything goes together and try not to squish it too hard only kind of crimp the edges because what you want to do is you don't want to remove that, that that concavity or that convexness I guess that you have on there so what I do is I take tweezers and I sort of crimp the edges and I go all the around, way around the edges like that um, until and a couple times until you get it right there's that piece and now just to finish it off I might sand the edges a little bit I'll go back with some paint some Tamiya just acrylic paint and sort of get a buff color and, and, and paint the edges when necessary, which is not hard to do. Now you take that piece of wire and you stick it through the hub. You gotta find the other hole, but it finds it finds pretty easily. It's not too impossible. And then once you get it through, like so, you then basically are gonna glue that blade to the hub. And you gotta make sure you have the right direction. I think I got it right. Oh, I'm trying to remember if it's a which way this engine would spin. I think I have it correct. I might have it backwards. I just won't tell anybody. Put it about a 45 degree angle to the hub and that bunch of uh, glue that gushed out is okay because you can use a um, little brush to sort of clean it off and it actually acts as kind of filler and it will fill holes I find out on these paper models and seams and actually kind of make them disappear a little bit once it dries. I don't know why, um, but it works pretty well. So now, all I'm doing is the very same thing I did with the balsa that had the wire in it, but I'm doing the other side. So put a little bit down, put it onto the um, half of the blade you wish to put it on, and just line it up. It's basically centralized. Uh, if you line it up at the base, the rest will kind of automatically be done. Just make sure you got it relatively straight by eye. Don't go crazy. Glue on the other edges, on the, on, the, on the edges, just like before. And then you pop your other blade side on again, your clamshell. Same procedure. Um, line up the end is what I did, just like that. And then drop it down. Give it a little squeeze again all the way around. And you do it exactly the same way as the other one. Crimp it. And just make sure you don't squash it so that it's flat. You want to have a little bit of a shape to it, because otherwise it'll look like just a flat piece of typing paper uh, on the end of the engine. You don't want that. Sand it like before. That's easy. And now take the piece of wire and put it into the slot that's already there. And then you just start test fitting this and lining it up. It takes a little jiggering around to make it good. Once you have it right, Put a little glue on the inside just like before. This time I was trying to be more careful, not be so goopy. Um, and you go ahead and slide that piece on. Again, making it about, I would say, a 45 degree angle. Um, and you let it dry. Um, and you make sure that it's, it's correct and that the angle is correct for way the, the way it's going to spin. In other words, you don't want to put a pusher prop on there. So you make sure everything is tight. Again, the edges we can paint up, which I'll, I'll touch up with paint later. But this is hard to tell, but I'm twisting. See how I have it between my... Oh, it's great cinematography. See how I'm twisting a little bit? I'm trying to get an, the end to twist and make the prop actually the prop like helical, and that works pretty well. Now on the engine, I found I had to cut off the tip a little bit of the, of the little shaft going through there so that the prop would fit. But once I got it fitting... Um, just a dab of super glue and don't worry the cowling will fit over this I can actually put this on here and you know I just want to do it to make it look more finished but you can do this with before you put the engine on so don't that's an okay thing put that on and then you just spend a little time making sure it's lined up making sure it's perpendicular to the front of the, the engine face making sure it looks good um, which it fits really well actually and then it's it, it already kind of self seats itself um, I did a little bit of a zip kicker just to get it on there good and fast. Uh, and then the fun part is putting it on in the, in the uh, fuselage. And you can see that it looks kind of like a rotary engine spinning around. There's a little wobble, but that doesn't bother me. It's still going to be good enough when you just want to sort of blow on it and, uh, and make it spin as if you were a child. 
Now holding the, the cowling, it's not glued on, but it just gives you an idea of what it looked like. Not perfect, but it looks really nice and slick. So there you go. Looks great.